clinical strength. It is the capable and easy on the eyes Dr. Joan Dale from Tom Corbett Space Cadet. Flexible vinyl rubber type figure. And she's awesome. <laughs> Mark's Toys, Robot, Rex Mars, Space Female, and what's significant about them is that they don't have bases. You're wasabi. Mark's Toys, Tom Corbett, Rex Mars, Mousy Alien. With no base. Yeah, you make the prestige reveal. There's Freddie Mercury with his microphone. Yada yada yada. Awesome. Ayo. And a uh, seated driver for the uh, Mark's Tom Corbett space car, which I do not have, but we always look for seated pilot figures, and he's fantastic. Uh, looks like here we are. Teaching a course at the Space Academy with his notes. There, yeah, I like the medallion. Ladder climber. Don't have a ladder. We'll have fun finding other things for him to climb on. What Raquel Welsh? These are all in a in a rubber, rubber or vinyl. The figure sculpting on this line is different, very unique, even for Marks. And then here's a, uh, definitely did not have this guy with his, uh, shooting iron there, <laughs> kneeling on the, on the ground. Gathering up pieces of the Ronswell wreckage. Awesome. And this was the Peace Day Resistance. It's the crawling alien with the ray gun. A little bit discolored, but dude, he's the hardest of the Mark's Toys aliens from this era to score because he was only included in the uh, Tom Corbett sets. The other aliens were all carried over to the Rex Mars group, and many, many more of them were made. Good enough excuse to get out the whole stash of these Tom Corbett figures. The blue ones are as reissued with the Rex Mars sets. And if my understanding is correct, the gray rubber and vinyl ones were the original Tom Corbett's from 1952 and 1953. The soft gray plastic ones were made somewhat later. And I've actually got a mixture of both here. The one on the left is soft plastic the one on the right is rubber uh, same deal here with the uh, with the pilot or driver figures one on the left is rubber the one on the right soft plastic this acquisition has has made me reassess just how special this uh, line is i believe both of those two are rubber and we got the guy back here giving thistle some helpful tints on how to climb that their rock face the mousy figure is soft plastic and then the new arrival of the blue vinyl without his base is a rex mars issuing my understanding is correct the ones without the bases came first here's three of the tom corbett pose on the left in rubber in blue metallic soft plastic the one in the middle with his pirate eye there and soft plastic. The two females are both soft rubber, one a darker gray. And then of course Freddie Mercury back there. Freddie, Roger, and Brian. Oh. Now this guy I'm not I'm not sure what he's supposed to be doing, but it's it's interesting that he's sitting up. That's fantastic. And of course the alien, the hardest one of the set to score. And the boy gets a cigar. <laughs> And the line, you know, it, it doesn't have the sexiness of the Rex Mars series with the helmets, but the sculpting is, is, is more character-oriented. Which makes sense, since they were based on licensed show characters. The Rex Mars line was a generic creation by Mark's Toys, made after the licensing for the show had run out. And here are the gals. We have the Quartermaster issue. Our new figure, a helmet. All four in the back are vinyl, 
and the one in the front here is a soft plastic and I like to pair her with this Crescent Kellogg's and make the joke that they met at the library. <laughs> and our robot friends here. I love this robot. I used to have a problem with robots. My favorite show when I was seven years old was The Six Million Dollar Man and John Saxon came out there as the robot. And he almost cleaned The Six Million Dollar Man's clock. So as a kid, I was never really fond of robots. Things go wrong with them. But I like this guy. I love the uh, the hose on his head. I love the gearbox. Our new arrival there in the front without a base was probably 1954. And unless I be mistaken, uh, both of the green figures were Giant Martian Landing, either 1972 or 1977. I like to think that they were manufactured in 72 and it all just sat in the heat while the marks sale took place. Lewis Marks definitely had a, a hand in creating the giant Martian landing play set and he may have held out on saying no you're gonna have some little green men in there, little aliens for the kids to interact with. And then lastly the happy mousy guy. Oh he's so happy. Actually I do get some menace out of the figure and uh, we've got in blue with no base from Rex Mars gray soft plastic and then in green again I'm pretty sure from Giant Martian Landing at last but not last we've got two of well HO scale versions that I scored from uh, Toy Soldier HQ a bit back not made by Marks produced in Hong Kong during the 1960s probably with train sets in mind so it's Friday night we're gonna end on a high note by fixing them all up with a date this gal over here is going with a Remco astronaut. She likes a strong, silent type. This lady here is dating a poplar cop. Pops are always popular, huh? MPC Geiger counter guy talked this gal into going to evaluate wreckage from the Roswell crash. This guy gets to go out with both of the twins, but he's already looking pretty shagged out. Wish him luck. And the new gal's going out with the robot after she realized she can pre-program to enjoy vegan food.